Today we are setting up a free WordPress site using free hosting. So you can see I've got my free site here. I'm using a custom domain with free SSL and the performance on here is actually really quite good. So 99 on Google PageSpeed Insights Mobile here. WordPress Performance Tester is showing us performing quite a bit faster than the industry average as well. So all of this um, I did using no code, no Linux commands, all of this was just point and click. So this is quite a bit easier than my previous tutorials. If you found those too complex, this is probably a lot easier. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So accessing this is actually really easy. We're gonna be using X10 hosting. So just head to x10hosting.com, create your free website. Now this is genuinely free. So no phone number, no credit card, none of that stuff. All you need is your email address. Go ahead and click um, continue on this X10 free plan there. Enter your email address. Just go through that sign up process. You do have to confirm your email address, but that's all there is to it. Um, then we head over to our dashboard and let's get started building this website. Once we're all signed up and logged in, we can head to our dashboard here and we can add a new service. So click that one. We can choose a subdomain to set up on. So this can be anything you want. I'll just use ideas bot demo for this. Now that you can choose X10 MX or there's a couple other choices here, but it doesn't really matter what we go with. I'm actually gonna use a custom domain later in the tutorial, but we do need to choose one of these to start with and use a nice strong password here as well. And then we click sign up and we just wait for this to activate. Then after a few seconds, your server will get set up. You'll get this randomly generated name here for your instance. Now go ahead and click that one. And now we've got a chance to add a custom domain. So for this demo, I'm going to use one that I already own. It's called ideaspot.site. I'm gonna add that one on here and just wait while this adds the domain on here. That looks all good. This did take a few seconds for that to work. So just be patient while that sets up. If you don't actually have a domain and you're interested in trying one out, uh, namecheap.com is where I get most of mine. You can get um, a dot site for $2, like I was using there. Um, dot XYZ is the cheapest one, that's $1. Um, dot coms are usually around $10. They might have specials from time to time, but um, anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. All right, so now we can head to our hosting control panel. All right, we can see we've got our domain here, Ideaspot site, and we wanna to head to our accounts manager and DNS management. All right, so let's get our name server working here. So they actually supply two name servers here, name server one, extendhosting.com and name server two. We can use these. Alternatively, you can copy these into your own name server. I know some of you like to use Cloudflare or something else for your name server. So you can copy those in to your own. I'm just gonna use their name server for this tutorial. So ns1, xhosting.com. Over on my domain, Ideaspot site, we're going to use the name server, um, custom DNS server. So depending on where you bought your domain, it's going to be similar. You can add your own DNS servers into your domain here. So I'm going to use that one and that one there and save those in. So this will take a second. So just be patient here. So this is the most boring part of the tutorial. Whenever you change name servers, it does take a while for the changes to propagate across the internet. So we have to wait a while before our domain is actually going to point to this um, IP address that we use for our domain. So let's just be patient here. Usually half an hour to one hour is normal, but it can take longer. So um, the way to check is over on whatsmydns.net. So here we are on whatsmydns.net. So this is a free service. You can check where your domain is pointing at the moment. So you can plug that in, ID spot site in my case, a record search, and we can see that's pointed to this IP address here. What we want is it to actually point to this one here. For, in my case, it's 198, 91, 81, 11. So it will take a little while. Um, I did set it to 8.8.8 .8 before the tutorial so we can actually demonstrate and see it clearly change as time passes. So I'm gonna come back in about half an hour. We can try this again and we can continue. Hopefully it's pointing to our new IP address. And sure enough, after half an hour, if you repeat the search, we can see that we're pointing to our new IP address. In most cases, there's a few that haven't propagated. It can take 24 to 72 hours, in fact, for every single place to find the new IP address, but this should be just fine. We can continue on with the tutorial. So now that we've got our domain linked up to our IP address here, we can head over to SSL certificates and set up our SSL. All right, so from here, we want to use the first option here, get automatic certificate from Acme provider. We're gonna be using Let's Encrypt. All of this can be left on default. We can go ahead and click save. Now this does take a few seconds for this to issue a certificate. So there we go, we've got our certificate all good to go there. 
And the other thing we might do is force SSL HTTPS redirect there and save that on as well. So that is all good. We should have an SSL certificate for our domain now. And sure enough, if we head over to IdeaSpot site in our browser now, we can see we've got an SSL padlock and our default landing page for X10 hosting. So we should be good to install our own website on here now. Okay, back on the control panel, we can now go to Softaculous Apps Installer, that's down the bottom there. And there's a few apps that we can install on our hosting. I'm gonna use WordPress for this demo, so let's select that one. Now here we can see WordPress takes up 57 megabytes and it's actually worth noting that we have 512 megabytes of available space. So not a huge amount of free space, but this is plenty for like one simple website, blog, something like that. Um, you should be fine with 512 megabytes, but um, just be aware of that limitation there. So go ahead and click install. So we just need to fill that out. Choose the domain here. So we're gonna choose IdeaSpot site there and in directory, we wanna leave that blank. We wanna install it on the root of the domain there. So that looks all good. Um, username and password, let's fill that in. So there we go, I've got my username, strong password, admin email. I put the site name and description in here, but you can obviously change that through the WordPress panel later if you like. Um, the rest of this can be basically default. Um, they've got some theme options here, but obviously WordPress will allow you to change theme anytime you want. Go ahead and click install there. And this will take three to four minutes, it says here, so you can see the progress ticking away, so just be patient. So now we've got our congratulations message. We can access our new website here. We can see we've got a default WordPress install there. We can get to our admin panel um, through the uh, dash WP admin. You can see it's actually automatically logged us in, which is nice. We didn't have to log in, so that's pretty cool. From here, you could install a website, appearance and themes, start setting up a new theme. Alternatively, you could install a plugin like uh, All-in-One Migration or Duplicator and bring an existing WordPress website over to this free hosting. So um, a few options there. Let's just set up a quick website and see how this performs. So uh, let's go Appearance Themes. I'm just gonna put a Cadence starter template website on here and test it out. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll search for Cadence here. So that's what I'm gonna search for, Cadence, and I'm gonna install that one. When that's installed, we click Activate. Then we'll get an option to install the starter templates as well. So I'm gonna choose that one there. And let's pick a nice simple template for this. I think the one I like is called Agency. There we go, Agency. Let's go with the default settings there. Full site install. You can skip and start importing. This does take a little while, so just be patient here. That's all done, we can click Finished here. And there we go, we've got our new website set up. Before I test the performance of this page, I noticed that there's a couple images down the bottom here that actually loaded from a remote server. So I'm gonna remove these blocks before I start testing it. So we head over to edit page here and I'll just remove this block and this one here as well. Cool, I'll just update that. Head back to our dash there. And this theme has a few performance options we can turn on. So appearance and customize there. And we had the general performance there. We can turn on load Google fonts locally, enable CSS preload. Let's flush the local font files and hit publish. All right, so on IdeaSpot site, our template looks like it's running just fine there. We can go ahead and go to Google PageSpeed Insights and actually run a test on IdeaSpot site there. So let's analyze this one and let's see how it's doing. Cool, so amazingly, this free hosting is actually giving us 99 on the mobile speed test there. So pretty cool, 97 on desktop. And we've got a first contentful paint in 1.4, largest in 1.8, all green on our core web vitals here. So pretty cool. All right, and the other thing worth checking here is if we go to our dashboard, we can do a WP performance test here as well. So let's go to plugins and add that performance tester. So if we search for WP performance tester, that's all one word. We can go ahead and install this benchmarking tool by Kevin Ohashi. Go to the tools and the WordPress performance tester is in there. We can begin the performance test. Now this does take about 20 seconds to run. So I'm just gonna wait while that runs. All right, so we've got our results. The important one to look at here is WordPress performance. That is in 1.186 seconds there. So quicker than the industry average of 2.3. And this is actually a little bit better than something like Bluehost. It'll be around 1.3 at Bluehost host and quite similar to um, something like SiteGround which is pretty solid which is coming in just under one second so quite solid performance for a free web hosting service and um, we can see the server total time is it's just a little bit uh, quicker than the industry average as well so quite impressed by this for having a free service that gives us this level of performance. The other thing I noticed was in the control panel, they are email accounts. So you can have up to three email accounts included on the free plan, which is pretty cool. The other way 
that I would get a free email if I wanted a free one for my domain would be through uh, my email tutorials on my channel. On the playlist, you can get a free email um, with a custom domain through Zoho using this method and through Gmail using this method. I think these are a little bit better than using something like X10 Hosting to host email. I probably would uh, imagine that the deliverability rates on these are going to be a lot better than um, using a free service like this one. So just keep that in mind. I'd probably go with one of these methods. And before I wrap this up, I just thought I'd mention this is probably okay for a simple website that doesn't generate a lot of traffic. I can't imagine they're going to allow you to run a heavy website getting thousands of visitors a day for free. I can't imagine that's going to work for a long time. So um, just keep your expectations fairly low and, and fairly simple. I think this is for learning and getting started with small little personal projects. I wouldn't try to use X10's free plan for anything too serious. But if you are looking for something as an alternative to typical shared hosting like Bluehost, Dreamhost, GoDaddy's basic plans, they're all quite similar to the experience that you get here and you'll get this experience for free. So worth trying this out, but um, this pretty much wraps it up. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.